Well, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, when did you first learn that you were winning this? Uh, not that long ago. It was pretty, um, it was a little bit last minute. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And this is technically the 2021. Yes, because I had to pause the whole thing because right. of the pandemic, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, did you ever, this is one of those that's given to people who are making lasting contributions to American culture and <laughs> yeah. entertainment. Yes. I mean, when you read something like that, yes. I mean, look, you've won a lot of things, but where does this one rank amid all the other awards? Well, I, to be honest with you, I think there's been a bit of a clerical error, <laughs> so I would prefer for you not to uh, delve too deep. I think it was, I think I'm not necessarily supposed to be on this list, but delighted to be here nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, you're no stranger to this place. I'm not. Given your past work. Yes. How many, did you ever, I should know this, but again, this was, like, like your award, this was sprung on me at the last minute. Here. Okay. Did you ever get to visit and do any research? Yes. Uh, while you, yeah. Yes, And you I talked did. to the guy who's now president. I right? talked to the guy when he was vice president. And I did. what advice did he give you about being vice president? Oh, God. Um, uh, well, he told me, actually, he told me about the agreement that he made uh, with uh, President Obama. Uh, because you know the vice pre from a from a constitutional point of view the vice president really is uh, has only really two tasks right. and um, but he made a deal with the president and he was telling me about that and what was interesting is that Al Gore who, with whom I also met said the same thing with Clinton and I think he got the advice from Walter Mondale so okay. there you go it's the whole last in the room correct partner yeah. that's right know. okay yeah um, you know what always impressed me about Veep? What? You, you've been in that building, right? I have indeed. You've seen the floors, right? Well, I didn't just see them. Yeah, our production designer. But, um, Precisely. Yes. That was when I knew this show was legit. <laughs> that you, had, you had replicated the floors. We had an amazing uh, production designer on Veep named Jim Gloucester, and he came to spend a lot of time over there in the executive office, offices building. Yeah. yeah. Um, in Eisenhower. So who did you bring with you for today's? Morning? I brought my two boys who are now young men, yeah. and my sister, and my mom, and my stepdad. And this is a bigger deal for your family because you actually grew up here I Washington. did, we moved to Washington, D.C. when I was um, about eight years old. Yeah, so my mom is out of her mind. Had she ever been here before? Only on a tour. Okay, that's what yeah. I figured. Like, did yeah. you take one as a kid? Were you one of those that actually? No, I never took him as a kid. I came here um, as an adult, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, what else should we know? I mean, well, what was your I, reaction when you got this? I started crying. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> good tears or like? No, I was really upset. <laughs> of course, I, that was great tears. Yeah, happy tears. Um, and what else are you working on? I loved your people, by the way. Oh, you or people. You, you people, you, you people. people, sorry. Yeah, I have a movie coming out uh, May 26th, You Hurt My Feelings. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, Try, uh, Kristen, I'm sorry. <laughs> And uh, that's Memorial Day weekend, a film that I made with uh, Nicole Hall of Center. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Right. Well, congratulations. Thank we you. We appreciate you taking a few minutes. Thank you. Enjoy My today. Okay, I these shall. Are, these are, you know, you've been here before, but this is a big moment for no, you. No, this is a big family. moment. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not taking it for granted. Great. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. It.